other MPs wearing their attire in the BJP, like the Sadhvi Pragya and people like that. So I think that in case if people do have religious sentiments, it should be respected because that is their freedom of uh, expression and freedom of whatever they want to wear or whatever they want to say. But the main mute point over here is that the BJP is really not got any development work which they are doing because of which they have to retort to such kind of things. I mean, a bunch of hooligans who are... that I heard that girl's statement yesterday and she was saying that hardly about 10% uh, were there from that university but the rest were from outside. So how did these goons come from outside and how did they, you know... Uh, influence and do such kind of things is a thing to really uh, be worried about. But some people are saying it is about regressive hijab versus progressive education. Why it has been made Hindu versus Muslim? All of a sudden. I am very amused and, uh, you know, very uh, upset about the fact that India, the very essence of India is that our cultures are very much intertwined with one another. So there is no question about, you know, doing this Hindu-Muslim thing. I don't know where this has come from, but from the past seven years, we are feeling that from the time the country has been, you know, uh, attained freedom, all the communities and castes and people from all communities have given their blood for this, except for the BJP. BJP has no history in the freedom fight. My parents, my my mother's uh, entire side are freedom fighters. My, uh, my From my father's side, my aunt is uh, a Padma Vibhushan. And she was one of the first five friends of Gandhiji. And I think that, you know, uh, that the BJP is trying to do something which is very destructive to the very essence of this country. But you don't think that the girls are also being used for their political vested interest, that all of a sudden they are made to come out on street and raise voices? Sorry? You don't think that the girls are also being used by certain vested political interests to come out on street and make it an issue? I don't think so. That girl was just simply going to get her papers from the college and from the university. We all heard her statement. We, there are videos which are viral to show that she was simply walking on the road. She was a girl who was lonely and alone and just going to pick up her papers. And she never did anything to aggravate them. But they just, like a bunch of hooligans, went and, uh, you know, uh, uh, started uh, screaming the slogans. And uh, they were the ones who almost attacked her verbally. So uh, even a verbal attack is not accepted in society and that should not be so. Especially when so many uh, men come together, so many boys come together like a bunch of hooligans, they can do anything to that girl. I mean, it's a dangerous trend. Well, last question, as you are in charge of Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh, see, the Facebook page of the army has been blocked because they had been trying to counter the Pakistani narrative. And the second is we have seen that how the food joints like uh, Pizza Hut and also KFC. They had been trying to support secessionism. So how do you react to these things? I just think that the Modi government has faltered on many grounds. Like Rahul ji has also said in his speech in the, uh, in the Lok Sabha that how the uh, small and medium industries have been totally destroyed and how there is no uh, way for the Modi government when they say make in India to create jobs in this country. They have no solution to this, so obviously they are going to do this Hindu-Muslim card. And I don't see a reason why the Hindus should be so afraid in his regime or the BJP's regime. Why should they keep, uh, uh, you know, spreading this rumor that 80% uh, uh, of the Hindus are in I mean, I don't see a reason that Modi ji, ke hote hue, BJP, ke hote hue, Hindu ko khatro mein hona chahiye. That means this, this, this center and this uh, leadership is not good. He is not himself feeling safe. How can he, uh, you know, like uh, safeguard the interests of the people of the country? And he, him, uh, today, he, uh, look at the representatives, political representatives that were there from his party also in Jammu and Kashmir, who have lost their lives because of attacks from the militancy. And it's really, uh, there was a school teacher, there was a school principal who was recently shot. I mean, who is the one who is overseeing Jammu and Kashmir? And why is all this still happening? So... The Bharatiya Janta Party versus the Bharatiya Juti Party has to really come up with facts and figures and not speak about the past and about Congress. It's their regime now. They should talk about what they have done and what they can do and what they are doing. They always talk in future tense, but they don't speak about what they have done or they have they have to show that they have done. Mengai is really the the price rise has. Uh, you know, skyrocketed for a common man. They cannot afford. 
people inflation rates have really uh, you know swung in the wrong way and we see all the strata of society who's really unhappy the farm lords also they had to take them back